video, we're going to show you how to use the COUNTIF and COUNTIFS function to show you how ranked choice voting works. So how does ranked choice voting work? It may be the way that we do presidential elections in the future. I think Maine uses it. So basically, you rank the three candidates if there's more than two candidates. So the first voter might say, I like the Republican first, then the Independent, then the Democrat, et cetera. We've got a bunch of voters here, like about 800 voters. Okay, then you check for majority. If anybody has a majority, then of course they win. But if no majority, you eliminate the low candidate and you allocate their votes to their second choice and you keep going if needed. So let's see how things go here. So we're going to give range names here. Select this. Formulas create from selection. Okay, we'll say top row. So I think now we've got some range names. We've got the range name first, which is this column. The range name second, which is this column, and we won't need third, to be honest. Okay. Everybody in. So I could do a count if, right? Count if, and we could use the range first. That's this column. How many Republicans? Okay. So then we'll get the percentage here. Probably need the total. And so nobody's got a majority. Okay, so now we'll do the independents. But the Democrats do lead here. So now I would do a count FS in the second column. Being Republican. And the first column's got to be independent, right? So the second column is Republican, first column independent. And see, the Democrats are the second choice. Okay, so now we can add things up. So now the Republicans would get the 17 votes. And the Democrats would get what they had before, but they're going to win now. So in other words, we've got this divided by the total. So the Republicans got 43%, the Democrats 57%. So the ranked choice voting, for instance, a Howard Schultz ran for president and most of the second picks were Democrats, then basically the Democrat would get the electoral votes from that state. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has... 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.